how to YouTube, some cool stuff for you today, and that's because we're taking a look at the Yu-Gi-Oh! Seto Kaiba Yugi Moto Structure Decks. I'm really keen to get my hands on both of these. The main reason for that, because I know this month, October 2016, has literally been about these two guys. We had the Mega Tins, which were Yugi themed and Kaiba themed. We had the Legends of the Pharaoh packs that came out, which was all about Yugi's cards, Kaiba cards, uh, also American Bakura, which they don't give us structure decks for those guys, but that's a, a rant for another time. But I was really keen to get my hands on these, and the main reason for that is as a kid, when they first brought out the English versions of the Japanese structure decks, I always wanted Kaiba. And I would settle for Yugi. Unfortunately for me, they had neither. They had Pegasus and Joey. I ended up going with Joey. In hindsight, I wish I'd gone with Pegasus. But anyway, that's beside the point. The point is, though, that I would have liked one of these two. So now, finally, I'm able to, I guess, get those. And it's uh, a little bit of a nostalgia thing for me. Both look cool. Love the artwork on the front. Blue Eyes looks fantastic. Kaiba is a boss. Yugi. Uh, looking okay, with, of course, that's uh, the Pharaoh, Agamemnon, if you've seen the show. And then uh, the Dark Magician artwork, which I'm not the biggest fan of this type of artwork, the, the pale skin and blonde hair. Uh, but anyway, we'll see what it is. I'm very keen to get these opened up. And taking a look at the back of the packaging, what's cool, I think, is that these are slightly different to the stereotypical Yugi and Kaiba decks that we've gotten. This one is all based around the XYZ um, you know, Dragon Cannon, Tank, etc. So that's kind of cool. Uh, his final duel against Yugi in Battle City is where this is from. New ABC Union Monsters as well. That's exciting. And then on the flip side, we've got Yugi's deck from when he versus the Pharaoh at the end there, a Magnet Warrior themed structure deck. So with that, let's get both of these cards and decks opened up. Okay, let's start with Kaiba. Why Kaiba? Uh... No particular reason. I guess that's just the one character I prefer. Alright, so let's get this stuff opened up. What have we got? Some instructions. Look at that. I love that. Just a little side rant. But the old school decks used to have that little pocket in there. Doesn't want to come out, does it? How dare you pay for this product. Wow, that should not have been anywhere near as difficult as it was. But uh, anyway, that looks sick. Before we get to the deck, what do we get? A beginner's guide instruction manual. Very nice indeed. And we get a pretty cool looking deck mat, actually. Uh, nice shot of blue eyes, Kyber, and then the uh, XYZ dragon monsters. So that looks fantastic. I will keep that there. I'm pretty happy with that dueling mat. For what it is, I reckon it's pretty good. Let's see the cards that we get, though. Hoping we get some nice stuff. Very cool. Okay, so uh, kind of a cool deck. We have got a lot of support for this lately. Again, uh, we got the XYZ monsters and the cannon and so forth in the... Uh, Rivals of the Pharaoh Battle Pack that came out recently. All right, so we've got AZ Dragon Buster Cannon. Yes, it's a mouthful, but a really awesome looking card. Big fan of that. ABC Dragon Buster, nice. Looking very stylish there, no doubt. Uh, we've got A Assault Core. I like that these are all... Visually quite nice. Nice ABC. Heavy mech support armor. X head cannon. Y head dragon. Z metal tank. Heavy mech support platform. Common blue eyes. Yes, it's the different artwork. Very happy at that. I'm getting sick of the tablet ancient Egypt type artwork. For some reason, I really dislike that artwork. So uh, this one I do really enjoy though. Kaiser Glider. Lord of D. Vampire Lord, nice. Enraged Battle Locks, outstanding. Look at that, pretty tank. Uh, Des Feral Imp. Piton, the Dark Clown. 
and another one for good measure. These were uh, really sinister, messed up in the first Yu-Gi-Oh movie. I remember where he gets the knife and... Uh, yeah, I wasn't expecting that from a Yu-Gi-Oh movie. But anyway, it is what it is. Uh, Interplanetary Purple Thorny Dragon. Peter Piper picked up all peculiar purple peppers. Blizzard Dragon. Keeper of the Shrine. Nice card for a dragon deck. Lust of Dragon. Styling and profiling there. Union Hanger. Very good. Majesty with Eyes of Blue. Send one blue eyes monster from your hand or deck to the graveyard. Then target one face up monster on the field. It cannot attack. While it is face up on the field, you can only activate one Majesty with Eyes of Blue per turn. Interesting. Stream of Destruction. Very nice card. Blue food. Uh, blue. Jeez, blue. The Flute of Summoning Dragon. Silent Doom. Love that card. Shrink. Enemy Controller. Will we get a Crush card? Maybe. Limit Remover. Nice. There we go. I like it. Mirror Force. Ring of Destruction. Interdimensional Master. Cloning. That's a cool card. Final Attack Orders. Call of the Haunted. Rollout. Fiendish Chain is very nice. Then we get some more Fusion Support. Excellent. XYZ Dragon Cannon. XY Dragon. And... XY tank cannon Solid decks very happy with that and these can be special summoned So you don't need polymerization. So that is an added bonus pretty solid deck all up Okay, so next up let's bust Yugi open The Kaiba one wasn't bad it's something different. That's what I like. Uh, it's kind of... I was honestly a little bit hesitant to get both of these given how much, uh, you know, Yugi and Kaiba theme product we've been getting lately. Uh, but at least these two decks seem to be sufficiently different. Uh, at least enough to warrant picking them up. Let's take a look at the dueling mat we get for Yugi. Oh, we've got tips on the back. What have we got there? I mean, reasonably nice. These mats basically just follow the uh, artwork on the front of the box. So nothing too uh, exciting or anything like that. You can see Yugi there, Dark Magician, etc. They're okay. I mean, they do the job. Now let's get this deck opened up. Again, they love uh, pushing Yugi and Kaiba stuff, and I guess it's because it sells. We had Yugi's Legendary Dex 2 come out recently as well. That's another one I forgot to mention. Check out my review on that. Uh, actually, some really cool cards in that. In particular, the Joey set. The Blue Eyes, personally, I thought was a, a bit of a letdown, but the Joey stuff, no doubt, was uh, excellent. All right, so who have we got here? Man, I, I love the names on some of these things. We've got Imperion Magnum, the Superconductive Battle Bot. Yes. Berserkicon, the Electro Magna Warrior. He does look pretty cool, though. I will, I will say that. Alpha, Beta. These look a lot cooler than the original ones. Gamma, like a lot nicer. Ah, interesting type of Karibo. Valkyrion, excellent. For some reason, I thought this guy was a fusion monster. Evidently not. Then we got the originals. That's pretty cool. Nice! I'm not going to lie. I did not think this was the artwork for the Dark Magician we were going to be getting. I'm over the moon that it is the one that we got because that looks really sick, actually. I love that. Look at the uh, this in, like, Super or Ultra Rare would be epic. Dark Magician Girl. Nice artwork there. Buster Blader. Jack's Knight. Queen's Knight. King's Knight. Very good. Gazelle, King of Mythical Beasts. Obnoxious Celtic, uh, Celtic Guardian. That's a cool card. I, I like the artwork on that. Reminds me of Link from uh, Nintendo. Giant Soldier of Stone. Another Karibo. Skilled Dark Magician. Very nice. Skilled White Magician. I haven't come across this one before. Plus one spell counter. Okay. Summon Buster Blader. That's decent. Twin-Headed Behemoth. The artwork on that card, hopefully you guys can see... I really like that artwork. Very cool. Magnet Field, Dark Magician, uh, Dark Magic Inheritance. Dark Magic Attack, very nice. Dark Magic Curtain, alright. 
Mystic Box, Swords of Revealing Light, always comes in handy. Spell Shattering Arrow, that was a good card, remember from the show. Polymerization, always good to have those. Defusion, always handy. Swords of Concealing Light, this was a, a good card in the anime as well. Attack the Moon. Giant Soldier of Sown, Destroy the Moon. Magnet Conversion. Magician Circle, very nice. Mirror Force, love these. Magic Cylinder, again, another classic favourite. Soul Rope, pretty sure this was the one he used against Bakura. Rock Bombardment. All right, Arcana Knight Joker with the different artwork. I really like the way this works. That looks uh, excellent. I'd love a Royal Straight Slasher card. That would be sick. Dark Paladin, different artwork, looks great. Chimera, the Flying Mythical Beast. And then Buster Blader, the Dragon Destroyer Swordsman. You honestly get some great cards in both of these decks. The main reason I'm really happy about them is that uh, they're different. A lot of these cards we haven't gotten before in the decks. You know, we've got a lot of the Silent Magician cards. We've got a lot of the Blue Eyes themed cards. Uh, but we didn't get a lot of the Magnet stuff. And we didn't get a lot of the uh, ABC XYZ monster stuff so overall i'm actually a big fan of these decks if you've bought a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh product recently such as uh <clears throat> myself then uh i still think it's worth picking these up on their own as is they're actually pretty decent decks and you get some pretty cool stuff in it so i hope you guys have enjoyed this review on the seto kaiba and yugi moto structure decks